Alright guys, only fitting that this uh, catch and cook is done in the middle of a pure storm. You won't want to miss this one. What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode. And uh, here in the Bay Area, we've been getting some crazy weather. Some hail, some snow even, pretty close to this Bay Area at least. Uh, thunderstorms, all that good stuff. And uh, it's kind of been throwing the fishing world off for a little bit. So uh, we're going to come out here to the beach and see what we can find. I did come out a few days ago. Uh, if you saw my previous video and caught some surf perch. But uh, the bite has been kind of funky. It's good some days, bad other days. And I think it's because of this crazy weather we've been getting. We're going to hope to do a quick catch and cook today. Uh, I know I've been doing quite a few surf perching videos, so I'll try to mix it up. It's sunny right now. As you can see in the distance, we've got a heavy storm front coming through, and I'm hoping that these fish are going to bite before that gets here. But uh, you know me, even if it's still pouring rain, I'll still be out here. Just to give you an idea, I pulled into the parking lot today, there was only two cars. One was mine, and one was my dad's. We're the only ones crazy enough to come out here today. Alright guys, only a matter of time before that thing gets us. Very, very soon. Hello, guys. The rain is officially here, full force. Not a bite yet, but we're sticking it out. I'm determined to get one today. I'll do my best. Let me clean off the screen here. Alright, I'm going to do my best to keep my back to the wind so that you can at least hear me, but we finally got a fish on here on the sand crab. Pretty sure it's a perch. We're having to deal with some rain, some wind, some cold. But that's the hard fishing. We're going to come out here when it's like this. All right, let's see what we got. And it's a minnow. Not a big one. There's our first one. I think we're gonna toss this one back. It's not quite big enough. But if we get one maybe a few inches bigger than that, we'll cook them up for lunch. All right, there goes fish number one. See if we can get another one, bigger one. All right guys, so here's the key for today. We have a strong current pushing to the left. So rather than cast straight out, we can cast to the right a little bit and let the current push it across. And that's gonna widen our catch radius and hopefully cover more water. Probably looks like each time I turn on the camera it's a new, a different day. But we started out with sun, we just got passed by a big cloud of rain and we did catch one fish during that rain and now we're back to the sun. It takes truly a crazy fisherman to come out here when it's like this. Alright guys, so I did have a little bit of luck. I caught one fish on the sand crab uh, but the current is pretty strong pushing right to left pretty quickly so I'm gonna take off the sand crab rig for now and tie on this Lucky Craft Flash Minnow see if we can have any luck on it. Try a few casts with it. Threw around the uh, flash minnow for a little bit, no luck. And I think I'm gonna try out another beach, so let's get up right to the next beach right now. Just like that, we're at a new beach. New beach, new hope. We're gonna keep throwing this uh, Lucky Craft flash minnow for a little bit. If this doesn't work, we might go back to sand crabs, but we're gonna try this one first. Fish on, fish on. what it is. I think it's a perch. It's a decent one at least. So I switched from the uh, flash minnow to a sandworm. And I wasn't really getting any bites. It kind of surprised me. But I got, whatever it is, I find pretty good. You know it's a good fish when they're swimming sideways in the wave like that. A 
Oh, it's a striper. Not a big one. There's our first, actually our second striper of the year. I caught one a little earlier. I don't think this one's gonna make it. All right. Let's measure him just to see how much or how long he is. So here in California, the minimum size on these is 18 inches. Unfortunately, this guy's gonna be a little bit short. Looks like he's about 17 and a half, actually. About 17 and a half. So unfortunately, he won't be coming home for our catch and cook. Well, that's so cool. Good fish to catch. Oh. So there he is. Fortunately, only 17 and a half inches, so not big enough to keep, but it's okay. Still fun to catch. Ooh, there he goes. All right. Well, not exactly the surf perch that we we're looking for for the catch and cook, but that's a good start. Let's see if we can get a perch now. Here's another one. This one feels like a perch. I'm hoping. Fingers crossed we got a perch here. Don't want to get ahead of myself. Just focus on catching the fish and there it is. Hey, and that's a solid perch too. There it is. That's going to be our lunch and I'm getting pretty hungry after being out here for this long. That's a pretty good perch. Probably about, I'd say, pound and a quarter or so. That's what six hours of surf fishing looks like. That's going to be our lunch. All right, so as you can see, we've got some more rain headed our way, so let's get this catch and cook underway. And uh, first things first, we're going to fire up the grill, and then we'll clean our fish and get it ready for uh, cooking. All right, so we got our charcoal in there. Now we're just gonna put some lighter fluid. I like to put plenty of lighter fluid, never too much. And then light her up. There it goes. All right, so that's gonna take about 15 minutes or so for the coals to heat up. So in the meantime, we're gonna clean our fish. Okay, so this is my favorite way to cook perch. Usually I'm at home doing it in the frying pan, uh, but it'll work just the same on the grill here. So first things first, we're gonna take our scaler, and you can use a knife to scale the fish too, but this works even better. I'll leave it linked in the description below if you wanna check this out. But basically, just take off all the scales, just like any other fish. And before I fillet it up, one cool thing about perch is if you look inside the throat, you won't be able to see it here on this one. I don't think the camera will pick it up, but they have these little crushers in the back of their mouth, almost in their throat, and they use those to crunch up the sand crabs, and that's why sand crabs are such good bait because it's one of their main forages, and that, that crusher they have in the back of their mouth, that's what they use to crunch up those sand crabs because the Shells are really hard, and in order for them to digest them, they use those to crunch them up. Okay, we got this scaled. So next step is we're just gonna fillet it up. And I don't have my normal fillet knife that I would use, but I do have this little bait knife, and it'll make do for today. Uh, first, let's go ahead and wash this off real quick. All right, so next step, we're just gonna fillet this up, and I'm sure you've seen plenty of filleting video so I won't bore you with the details. We'll just do a quick time lapse of me uh, filleting this fish. Alright so there's our uh, fish carcass and I guess this is what I usually do this I never thought to put it on film but it seems like this is what people other catching cooks have been doing seeing what's in the stomach and oh, there's a little crab in there it's interesting, I never really seen those. Usually it's just sand crabs. But this looks like some kind of, 
I don't know, know what kind of crab it is. It like, looks like a baby rock crab almost. That's a sand crab. I'm going to toss this back in for the crabs and uh, wash off our fillets. Okay, our coals are heating up nicely. You can probably see it over here on the left hand side. And uh, now we're just going to season these fillets in. Don't really need a lot of seasoning for these. This is just a simple mix, just salt, pepper, and some garlic powder. And that's really all you need. These, these fish are very mild flavor, so you don't want to overpower them with too much seasoning. Let's just get some of this in there. Oh yeah, that's looking good. I didn't mention it when I was flaying it, but there are some pin bones right down the middle here. And you can't take those out. If I had my fillet knife, it would be a lot easier. Uh, but I'll just leave them in and take them out after the, after the meat's cooked. So that's what they look like before they go on the grill. And we'll give it a few more minutes for these coals to heat up and then we'll throw them on. Okay, now this is really nice and hot. Now we're going to throw our fillets on. So in order to help with the skin curling, I find that it's better to cook these skin up first and then it won't curl as much. So let's throw these on here. Yeah, we'll leave. The fillets are pretty thin, so we don't need to cook them for very long. It's saving about five minutes on this side. If it looks good, we'll flip it over five minutes on the other side and then we'll be good to go. Alright, so these have been cooking for about five minutes on this side. We're gonna go ahead, oh yeah, that looks good. So they have curled a little bit, but that's not too bad. You can flatten those out, that out. So it's been cooking for about five minutes on this one side. Now we're gonna go ahead and flip it. You can see that flaky meat right there. Same thing on the other side. That's how you know it's cooked. It's flaking off like that. I'm gonna cut the cover back on. Let these cook for another five minutes. So as you can see, this storm front behind me is closing in. And it's just starting to rain now. I guess it's only fitting that we do this uh, catch and cook on this channel in the rain. We need to give these about another minute or so. We are getting some good heat off of this grill, so it's keeping us warm. Give you a sneak peek there. About another minute, and these guys are gonna be ready, ready to eat. All right, so as this downstorm starts here, we're gonna start eating. And true to the name, Darren Fishing, look at that. Catch and cook here in the rain. I'm not gonna let some rain stop us. The lens is probably gonna get all messed up, but that's all right. See here, we're just gonna eat it right off the grill. That meat's just flaking off perfectly. my best to shield it. The weather here is getting progressively worse and worse as the day goes. Alright, we gotta keep eating here. Is it hailing? I think it's hailing. There's another day of paradise out here. I'm not gonna show you this taste. One benefit of doing a catch and cook out here when it's like this is this grill is keeping me nice and warm. Didn't really think about that beforehand, but nice added benefit, I guess. All right, that's what's left of the uh, perch. Nothing. 
Dart fishing at its finest, catching, cooking, and eating all in the rain. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.